This video will contain the instructions on how to set up the lab for grip strength and muscle fatigue. For the grip strength and muscle fatigue lab, you'll need a logger pro interface, a USB cable, a power cord, and a hand dynamometer. First, plug the power cord into the interface and then plug the power cord into a socket. Then plug the USB cable into the interface and then into the computer. And finally, plug your hand dynamometer into channel 1. Once everything is correctly connected, your hand dynamometer is plugged into your interface and your interface is plugged into the computer, go ahead and go to the desktop and open up the Logger Pro icon. Now, your icon may look different on your desktop, but open up the Logger Pro icon. When the Vernier program is open, go to File in the upper left-hand corner and click on it. Then click on Open. Then find the folder that says Human Physiology with Vernier and click on it. In this folder, scroll down till you find 17A, Grip Strength and Fatigue. 17A will be the Part 1 of this lab. 17B will be the Part 2 of this lab. So go ahead and click on 17A. And a new graph and a new screen will appear. It should say at the top of your graph, Grip Strength and Muscle Fatigue Part 1. If you connected your interface correctly to the computer, then the play button should be green. If it's not green and it's gray, try unplugging your USB cable and plugging it back into the computer. Next, you will calibrate or zero out your hand dynamometer. In order to do that, you must hold the hand dynamometer by the black casing. Do not hold the hand dynamometer by the gray pads. Now that you're holding the hand dynamometer properly to be zeroed out, go ahead and click on the zero button next to the green play button at the top of your screen. Now you are ready to record data. Make sure that the hand dynamometer is in the dominant hand and that your arm and elbow is at a 90 degree angle, your feet are flat to the floor, and your back is up against the back side of the chair. Now you know how to properly set up the equipment and to set up the lab. In class, you'll be given more instructions on data collection.